Yes, next we will move on to the next numerical. Draw pole zero diagram of I2 divided by I1 for the network shown. So this is the network which is given. It is having a current source here. Okay, so there is an inductor, resistor of 200 ohms and there is a capacitor. And this is mentioned, I2 is mentioned, the current I2 is mentioned in the circuit. So you need to calculate what is the ratio of I2 divided by I1. So we can use a current divider rule for calculating the ratio I2 by I1. Okay, so the current divider rule, what is the current divider rule saying? If we have two branches, I'm just taking a resistance example. So this is the I1 and this is I2 and this is the total current I. So I1, if I need to calculate, it is a total current, okay, into the resistance of the other branch divided by the total resistance. This is the formula. If I want to calculate I2, it will be the total current into resistance of the other branch divided by the total resistance. So that same formula has been applied in this. Okay, the same formula has been applied here. In this. So what it is telling you, it is telling you I2, it is the branch current here. So the branch current I2 is there mentioned and this is a total current I1 it is mentioned. So what is I2? I2 is the total current into the resistance of the other branch that is 1 divided by 250 into 10 raised to minus 6 S. Okay, so we have converted uh, the uh, circuit which was in time domain to frequency domain Okay, in which we have replaced L to LS and C, sorry, and C to 1 by Cs, okay? So this is 1 by Cs and this is Ls. So here, this is the resistance of the other branch, I mean the impedance of the other branch multiplied by the total current divided by the total value of the impedance, which is sum of all these three. Okay, when you simplify this, you will get in numerator 400 divided by S square plus 20S plus 400. Okay, so if I calculate the roots of this equation, okay, I can calculate the root of the equation by using the formula minus B plus or minus root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2 a Okay. So if I use this formula, I will get the two roots for the equation. So when I see, okay, so here there are no zeros. Zeros are not existing. Only poles are existing at S is equal to minus 10 plus, plus J 17.32 and S is equal to minus 10 minus J 17.32. Okay. So minus 10 I am marked here. And plus J17.32 minus J17.32, there are two poles existing. Okay, so this completes the numerical. Yes, next numerical. Steady state is reached with the switch closed. The switch is open at T is equal to zero. Obtain the expression for IL of T. So IL of T is the current which is given, which is flowing through the inductor. Okay, so the switch is closed before. Okay, so the steady state has been achieved for this inductor. And we need to calculate the, find the expression for IL of T. So when the switch is closed and it has achieved the steady state, okay, at T is equal to 0 minus switch is closed and steady state is achieved. So in this case, you will have a 15 volt battery along with 100 ohms resistors, which is closed. 
and inductor has achieved steady state means there is a flow of current through the inductor okay there is a flow of current through the inductor hence inductor acts as a short circuit and you need to can and this is a current which is flowing through the inductor at t is less than 0 there will not be any flow of the current in this because as this is a high resistance value so the inductor once it start acting as, as a short circuit so it is current having flowing through it so the current will take this path okay so equivalent circuit is shown here so from this if i calculate what is the value of il of 0 il of 0 minus will be equal to voltage which is 15 divided by the resistance which is 100 which will be equal to 0.15 ampere so this i have written it here so when the switch is open okay at t is equal to at t is equal to 0 plus switch is open just open so as soon as you open the switch the inductor will not start discharging okay so what will happen it will take some time to start acting as a so in that case this so in that case the il current il at, at 0 minus will be equal to il at 0 plus which will be equal to 0.15 amps so after some time after the switch is open and at time t greater than 0 the inductor will not will now start acting so it is replaced now by a 90 milli henry inductor value and it is also having initial current which we have found out as 0.15 ampere so that i have mentioned as a current source in this direction we have calculated in this way so the direction will be downward and this part of the network will be disconnected as the switch is open only this part will be existing so this part is existing. We have written it here. Read on the circuit. Now we need to calculate the current through the inductor at T greater than 0. Applying KVL in this direction, clockwise direction, I will get minus 300 IL minus 90 into 10 raised to minus 3 DIL by DT, which is equal to 0. Okay, so just simplifying this equation and what we will do, we'll compare this, this equation with the standard equation that is di by dt plus pi is equal to zero. So in this, the value of p is 3.33 by comparing this equation along with this, we get the value of p to be 33.33 into 10 raised to 1 plus 3 and the solution for this standard equation the solution for the standard equation is given as k into e raised to minus p t okay so i will substitute the value of p i will get 33.3 into n raised to 3 t here okay e raised to and to calculate the value of k substitute t is equal to 0 so when you substitute t is equal to 0 what will happen so here i l of 0 will be okay here it will be 0 so e raised to 0 will become 1 okay this will become 1 and i l of 0 will be equal to 0 0.15 so as a result k value you will get as 0 0.1 so put this back in this equation value of k and you will find the solution of the differential equation okay of this differential equation as i l of t is equal to 0 0.15 e raised to 33.33 into 10 raised to 3t. Okay, so this is the final expression and this finishes the numerical.